Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Alright, here we are. We've got another 25 book CGC unboxing. Um, definitely super nervous. There's like a lot of really cool books in here. And I have no idea what the grades are. As usual, my son taped the grades for me. And so like, I do not know guys. Um, and uh, so after, after it was taped this time, I kind of put it in like an order that, that I thought would be would be kind of fun for the unboxing and and, and and kind of like what you know I'm sorry guys okay so as usual we have the paper here with the grades that I wrote down um, I, I sent this yeah and guys just uh, you know head off one of the questions that might pop up in the comments um, so I sent this submission out like five weeks ago and I sent it out guys on just the modern slowpoke train, $24 a book plus shipping and handling. So I didn't fast track it or anything. It, all, it came back here in five weeks. I'm really surprised, guys. Um, so let's get started. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do the moderns first. So I call, I call this the X-Men submission because 16 of the books are X-Men books. And then there's eight of the books that are, are more new moderns, some keys that I found that were pretty cool, and some different uh, some different Spider-Man stuff, you guys know me. Um, so we'll start here, and uh, as you can see, we got them taped. Still. So this guy right here is a Miles Morales Spider-Man number 10. And it's the first appearance of Earth 616 Miles Morales as Ultimatum. So the, the first appearance of uh, Ultimatum Miles Morales in uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man number 10. And this is the second printing right here. And I gave all these moderns, I gave them a 9698. So, yep, I'm definitely hoping for for a good grade on this one guys and that that cover is really awesome too i love that cover check that out super cool all right guys what are we gonna get let's peel the grades back a nine a nine two oh no have i got a mean grader i'm scared guys what is wrong with this book oh my goodness there is a little Little spine tick there now that I did not see before. Mm. Okay, that did not that did not handle as well. Maybe that was shipping, guys. I don't know. There's a little bit a little bit of damage that wasn't there before. <sighs> not a good start. Not a good start, right, guys? Okay, next up we have uh, Champions 22. So this is another super cool book. This is the Champions number 22, the second pr printing. It's the first appearance of Braun and the first appearance of Riri Williams in the in this new Ironheart outfit right there that she's wearing. And I just thought it was really cool. It's kind of a more a more pricey book. And uh, I gave this one a 9698 as well, another modern. Let's see, what did I get on the first bra? Six. Man, what, what is going on? Okay, we don't, we're not, we're not off to a good start. I mean, there's like a little bit of, you can see guys, there's a little bit of dirt there, but I just thought that was like part of factory with that white cover. Um, I don't know, the back looks really clean. Oh, well, maybe that. Yeah, it's so minor. That could be it. Not a nine six. That's that's not too bad though, right? Um, I graded it correctly. I said nine six nine eight, so it's a nine six. All right, guys, what are we, what are we gonna get now? <laughs> okay, this. Oh, check this one out, guys. This one's awesome. So this one is uh, Miles Morales Spider Man nineteen, the Sanctum Sanctorum Comics Edition B. Just a super, super awesome cover. I love that cover right there. It's a Ultimate Spider-Man 259, and it's the Amazing Spider-Man number 300 cover homage uh, Virgin. 
another one. I'm hoping for a 9698. And uh, let's see what are we gonna get, guys? What are we gonna get? A nine something, right? A nine four. Wow. Okay. This is scary, guys. There's some really big books in here that like that hurts. Okay, a nine a nine four. I'm sorry, I, 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 don't, I didn't want to waste too much time on this video looking at them, but what is the 9-4 about? I don't, I don't see 9-4 in this, guys. I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, what did I say last time? It's inside the book, right, guys? It's inside the book. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I sent on and this one I sent the I sent the uh maybe I'm regretting this now. I sent the um the trade dress as well. Uh I just thought it was an awesome cover. Come on guys. This it looks as clean as the other one. Okay, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Oh, uh, what are we gonna get? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's a start. All right, all right. So they're not maybe mean graders. They're just, there was just something wrong with those books maybe. Okay, so we got it. That's dope. We got a 9-8 a nine eight, uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man 19, the Sanctum Sanctorum Comics Edition A with this super awesome cover. I love that cover. It's so, it's so awesome, guys. Um, all right, let's see. And we're getting, we're starting to get through. There's only uh, four more of the moderns, and then, and then we're off into the X Men and old X Men. And there's some, uh, there's definitely some Bronze Age uh, books in here as well. So, stay tuned if you guys don't, if you don't like the moderns, just, just bear with me. There's only a couple more. Um, so here we have the. This is the Miles Morales Spider-Man number thirty comic mint edition and it's a spider-man number one cover homage just a super super awesome cover another another one i'm i'm hoping is a nine eight guys i actually got a nine four of this in my last submission i had sent the uh i had sent the uh the virgin in the last submission and they gave me nine four so here's the on these mean graders right here's here goes here goes nothing. Here goes the uh, trade dress. It's gonna be... Oh, a 9-8! Oh my gosh! They gave me a 9-8 on it, guys. They gave me a 9-8 on it. Oh, that is so... I'm a, I'm a big Miles Morales fan. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 30. Check that out, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm so stoked about that. All right. Two nine, okay, two 9-8s in a row. And two more of the moderns to go. And I put the, or three more, three more. Okay, one more, there's another Miles in here. Check this one, check this out, this uh, Ultimate Fallout 4 cover homage, Virgin cover, with all the controversy and everything going on right now. Um, it's not, it is not that book, guys, it's not that book. It's uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 25, Comic Mint Edition C, uh, it's the the Virgin uh, that they had, and it's just oh, it's just awesome. It's just an awesome awesome book, man. Love this cover too. All right, what are we gonna get? Can we can we get more nine eights? Oh, another nine eight! All right, all right, all right. This submission's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around. We're doing it. <laughs> all right, that is awesome. Check it out, guys. Uh, Oh man, I'm stoked about that. And this is it's a beautiful, perfect book. So yes, thank you. Thank you, CGC, for seeing what I saw. <laughs> Alright, uh Miles Morales, Spider-Man 25, uh 98. That is that is awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. So two just trying to get these to line up. Alright, sorry guys. Um Alright. So these are the two the two Two of the bigger books 
in this submission, and uh, they're they're big books for how new they are. Like guys, go look these books up. This is crazy, crazy how big these books up books are for being brand new. I little story real briefly. I bought this off the wall, guys, myself. I just bought this one copy. Um, it's off all, you know. I honestly bought it, guys, as a cover buy. I did not even know it was the first appearance of Tosin. Just, you know what I mean? Wednesday, I went into the comic book shop that week, and I'm a big X-Men fan, and it said, uh, guest starring the X-Men. And so I and so I bought it. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't read it, because I, really, I just kind of really liked the cover. And so, I, and so I bagged and boarded it, and then, and then later it blew up, and they were like, "Oh, it's the first appearance of Tosin." So I was like, "Well, I'll send mine. Mine's really nice. Let's see, let's see what they give me. It'd be awesome if I got a nine eight of this book because I, I think it's cool to add. I want to. Oh, and it is. I bought a, I bought a book off the wall, guys, and it got nine eight. I bought it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I cannot believe that. I bought this book off the wall, guys. There was, you know, just this one book. I didn't, that's awesome. I'm sorry, I'm admiring it. That's sweet. Uh, Black Panther number 200. For, first appearance of Tosin Adoye in a 9-8. In a I'm so happy about that. That is super sweet. That is, I'm like smiling from ear to ear on that. Okay, how many 9-8s have I got in a row right now? I'm not even, I'm like, okay. <sighs> okay, this is, so this is the last of the moderns. And this is a big book in a 9-8. I'm not even kidding, guys. Go look this thing up. It's the New Agents of Atlas, number one, the third printing. In, in a 9-8, guys, it's an over $500 book. It's crazy. And I got this. I got this one in a Walmart pack, and uh, pressed and cleaned it myself. And it still looks good. They didn't do anything to it. I still see it the same. A nine eight, little hair there. <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Nine a nine eight. Give me. I'm. What? Hold on. I'm gonna. Oh, it doesn't even say it. There's such new characters, it doesn't even say all their names yet. Okay, but it's the first appearance of a bunch of characters. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm, I'm him and I don't want to... I, I kind of... It's like scary, you know what I mean? I don't know. I want to know, but I don't want to know, you know? What is it going to be? I'm not looking. You guys get to see first. Is it... What is it? What is it? Oh, my gosh! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're gonna put you, oh boy, that is, that is actually something else. Wow, wow guys, wow. Um, War, War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one in a, in a nine eight white pages. Wow, super wow. Okay. Okay. Well, we know I can press and clean now. <laughs> these are these these submissions are coming back pretty good. Okay, so these these books were a bit older. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. These books were a bit older, and these were hard to press. I'm not gonna lie, guys. These were hard to press. They're like really thick books. So there's seven of these in a row. So I'm gonna do them kind of fast. I'll just explain them, and then we'll start. We'll start busting through them. It'll kind of shorten the video up to get us to the other big X-Men books. So there's seven of these. I sent seven X-Men number ones. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, guys. So there was only one of these. This is the Magneto. And it was the best Magneto that I had. And I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's, I hope it's in the nines. Like that's, I was, you know, I wanted a, a set of them. And if they were in the nines, I was happy. And... What are we gonna get? Let's see, a zero and a, a, oh, that is not a nine. That is a seven. Okay. Okay. Mm, poor Magneto. 
Seven, a seven o white pages on the Magneto. Okay, that's. I mean, yeah, that's kind of disaster. That's that's awful. Oh boy. Let's hope not all the X Men are that. Okay. Let's let's see. All right, more X. So yeah, like I said, I was gonna go try to try to move quickly. All right. So next up, and there's only one of these. This is the uh, Cyclops and Wolverine cover, and yep, also not the greatest, we'll see. Also another one I was hoping was in the nines, um, yeah, 9092, oh boy, that is not, a, yep, I thought for a second that might be an 8 as I was pulling it up, that is not an 8, <laughs> that is a 6-0. Holy cow. Yep, I did not see something um, that they didn't like, I guess. Or, or the, are they all going to be like this? Now I'm, now I'm scared, guys. Now I'm scared. Okay. Man, now I'm definitely scared. <laughs> I sent a lot of these. I sent seven of these things. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, what are we gonna get? All right, let's let's just pull them up. Are they all gonna be bad? What is this? Oh, oh, okay, okay, a nine six. Oh, all right, that's awesome. So, okay, sweet. All right, I pressed this one up. Good. Okay, I wonder what's up with those two. I must have missed. Some. I don't know. Maybe it's something on the interior. Like I said, these are like thick books, guys. I got this one <laughs> up to a 9.6. Awesome. 9.6 white pages. Is it white? Yeah, it's white. All right, 9.6 white pages. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going like that. What in the world? I got some more of those too. So another Storm Beast. Uh, there's two of these. I sent two of these. Kind of. Let's see what this one is. Is it also a 9.6? Oh, no. Nope. It's a 9.4. Four guys. Okay, I'm happy with that. Like I said, I was just kind of shooting for in the nines. These books, people love. People love these books for the same reason I'm. I'm trying to collect them because they create that wall. So above the nines, they're super collectible. That's awesome. All right, a nine four. Okay, okay. So I got a nine six of that one. Let's see. Now that said, three of these, so I'm bound to get a, one of them good, right? Let's find out. Let's find out one. Did I do, or did I get another six? Oh my gosh, I got a 9-8 X-Men one pressed and cleaned by me. I cannot even, I cannot even, I can't even right now. That's so sweet. That is so sweet. Check it out, guys. Uh, an X-Men number one in a 9-8 in a nine, white pages. A, a book from 1991. I got it in a 98 white pages. That's that's awesome, guys. That's super awesome. These ones were like clean. A lot of these were really clean too. Um, let's find out. Did I get a, Did I get any more 98s? There was three of these, like I said. Oh gosh. They didn't like this one. A 9-0. Oh. <laughs> okay. A 9-0 oh on that one. Well, I got a 9-8 of it, so I guess they can't complain. A 9-0. A, a 9.0 oh X-Men number one. Uh, it's the Gambit, Colossus, Psylocke, and Rogue cover. Super, super cool comic book. At least it's still in the nines. I'm glad most of these are staying in the nines. Oh, man. I didn't complete the set though. I got a 6-0 and a 7-0. I mean, I guess that's my completed set, but it's kind of ugly right now, guys. I guess <laughs> it's like, well, there was, so there was a 9-6 and a 9-8 and the, or, uh, oh no, it's a 6-0, a 7-0 and a 9-8. And then, and then, yeah. Oh, a 9-6, a 9-8, a 6-0 and a 7-0. And did okay, and whatever this is, maybe this is a nine. Oh, that's an oh a nine six. Okay, that 
That's awesome. They said another one I pressed and cleaned up was a 9.6. That's sweet. That is super sweet. I am really happy with this submission so far. What, what in the world? Okay. 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 It, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, and I said most of those uh, past the, the first two, I said were like 9.092. I, I thought the rest were like 9.496. So one of them actually hit the 9.8. That's awesome. Because I didn't think any of them were, like, the best of the best, but they were, you know, I mean, for an older book, I thought they were really high grade. Um, now, this one, man, this, there's a kind of a story with this one, guys. This is actually the first book I ever submitted that I did a spine roll fix on. Um, it's not the first book I ever did a spine roll fix on. Or the first key I ever did a spine roll fix on. I actually sent that in the next submission. It's like a really beat up Spider-Man book. I used a, a more beat up. But once I was confident I could do it. Uh, this one was really clean. Except it had this weird spine roll. And I cleaned up the back too. Like where there was kind of some dirt and stuff. It's uh, X-Men number 4. The first appearance of Omega Red. I feel like it looks really good in the case. I don't know, guys, like 90. Maybe we'll say 9092. It looks really nice, honestly. Let's see. What did they I did? I was just hoping it I was just hoping it was, you know. Oh, oh a 94. A 94? A 9-4? Oh my lord. Wow, it's... Dude, you guys should have seen this book before. You guys should have... I cannot... Like, you don't even know how good that actually makes me feel. Kind of that I turned a book that was... I found it in a dollar bin and it had a... It was all beat up. Wow, that's so PC, it's not even funny. Like, this book means a lot to me right now, just because of that. Because I fixed it from from nothingness. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little quiet. You might not be able to hear me on the mic. Okay. That's crazy. I'm super, I'm super happy with that grade. Honestly, I really am. <laughs> and then the, so next up, there's, a, like I said, it's the X-Men submission. So there's lots of X-Men in here. Next up, this was uh, the first appearance of Maverick, the second appearance of Omega Red, and first full cover of Omega Red, with this really, I mean, all these two just super amazing Jim Lee covers, and I'm a big Jim Lee fan, so I, that's that's why a lot, you know, I sent a lot of Jim Lee. Um, yeah, and I thought these, I thought these, uh, this one particularly, I thought this was a 9698, actually. It's just, it's just so clean. It's a newsstand copy too, super clean, super clean book I found in a collection. And let's see, <laughs> can it be a nine eight? Can I get a nine eight? Another nine eight of an old book? No. Okay, nine six. A nine six. That's that's so awesome. That's. I'm like starting to get speechless again like the last one. These these are it's making me forget some of those early bad grades cuz these are awesome. These are awesome. Like it does these don't have to be a 98 guys. These are just awesome books and like in like a 949698 they're awesome books. Especially in a newsstand too. I always love this cover. There's no key significance or anything. It just says here uh, Omega Red Sabretooth and Maverick appearance and a Mojo cameo. So uh, X-Men number seven, I just really love this co Jim Lee cover, to be honest with you, and the fact that it was in a newsstand, and uh, it came with the, uh, the X-Men five there. I just thought it was really high grade, and I was like, this one deserves, like, it, you know, it might, it's one of those, it might hit the 9-8, kind of hoping, let's see, is it, let's see, is that a 9, okay, a 9-6, nine, a nine, another 9-6. So that's like a little matching set. 
they both came back nine six. I wonder what's wrong with them really that they disliked. You guys know it's like you're never gonna know with the uh because I don't see anything on either one of them still. They're both perfect. Whatever. Nine six. I'm happy with that. I'm actually I'm I'm really happy with that. That's awesome. Okay, check this out, guys. I wanted so when when uh when I got these, like I wanted to um when I sent these, like if you saw the video where I sent all these books off and, and showed you in like guess the grades. Um so there's two of these and I thought they were a nine four nine six and um, I was like, oh, I w wish I could show you the back cover. I'll show it to you when I get them back. So check this out, guys. So it's a, one of the coolest Barry Windsor Smith wraparound covers. I just love this book. It's awesome. Like, I kind of think it's super underrated. It's not a key or anything. It's part of the Weapon X saga. Um, you know, it just says Weapon X and Firestar Stories. Like I said, there's no key. I just think it's a super awesome Barry Windsor Smith cover. And both these copies were really high grade. Um, you know, they weren't like the most perfect. So I said like nine, four, nine, six, cause there's just some light imperfections to them. Not perfect corners. So I didn't think they could have a chance at nine, eight, but I thought they were high, high grade. So let's see, and there's two of them. So let's see, what is the first one you get? Is it nine, six? No, a nine two. Okay, still in the nines. A nine two. That's that's awesome. And the, it, this one has that. So let's see. Did the other one not have that? Or yeah, this is the this was the cleaner copy. One was like slightly cleaner. So I thought you know what I mean I thought one was a little bit lower. I thought one was a little bit higher. Like one I saw as nine six, and the other I saw as nine four, basically. So if they saw that as nine two, nine four nine six, <laughs> let's let's. This is the other one with the same super awesome Barry Windsor Smith Wolverine wraparound cover. Um, shooting for a nine six on this one, maybe off chance nine. Okay, nine four, a nine four, nine four nine six. Okay, right right around where I thought. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love this book. Like. Just wanted to preserve the copies that I had for future generations. That Barry Windsor Smith art deserves to deserves to be to be a you know what I mean. It deserve it deserves to be kept around and and uh, it's just awesome. It's just just awesome. Love that. I love that art. <laughs> Anyways. Get a little lost in stuff. All right, so here we have the first full appearance of Bishop, Malcolm, and Randall. Um, that book up there. And uh, there's another copy. And this this one actually looks really nice. Like I said, I pressed and cleaned all these books. So it has this little beat up corner. I didn't think it was perfect. Let's see. Where is this one? 283. Okay, so I thought this was a 9-2 or a 9-4. So let's find out where are we. Oh, boy. Okay, we haven't had a bad one in a while. There's one. 8-0. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. I say they really don't like that corner there, guys. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, moving on, an 8-0 on that. All right, that's sad. There was only one of those, <laughs> only one of those. There's two of these. It's uh, Uncanny X-Men 282, and uh, both of them are in a newsstand too. I didn't think either one were like high, high grade. If I gave them both 9294. Yeah. So I gave them both 9294. And the first one is, oh boy, ouch, an 8-5. Oh, man. Okay. These ones are kind of friends now, I guess. Look at this. They're, they're a cool set. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Yeah, this is, the, this is 282 and this is 283. <laughs> I guess they're a set now. Okay. 
that's cool. They get to hang out together. <laughs> that's not quite what I was hoping for. Well, let's, let's see. Can this one be a 9.2 or 9.4? I mean, they're newsstands, so even if they're not, like, 9.8s, these are... I feel like eventually these are still going to hold be having worth having submitted because it it's Bishop, guys. Like, Bishop's going to show up in the MCU one day, and he's going to be awesome. I'm sorry. That's my belief. I I believe a lot in this character. So can we get a 9.294 on this one? Is that what is a nine? Oh, okay, a nine two. All right, all right, nine two white pages on a on a newsstand. Uh, Uncanny X Men two eighty two. All right, we're winning again. We lost a couple. Now we're winning again. We mostly won this one. Like this is so. There's two books left, and these are the Bronze Age books that I promised you. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I did promise some Bronze Age goodness. <sighs> These are scary for me because it's so. This is uh this one's Uncanny X Men, one sixty seven from nineteen eighty three, and uh, they're just scary because like I see them as super high grade, right? Like, yeah, I pressed and cleaned them, and they are, they're nice, you know what I'm saying? These are nice books. This looks awesome in the case, too. I love, I've always loved this, this cover with, uh, with Cyclops carrying Xavier away, and you've got, you know, Wolvie, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Storm in the background kind of looking on. Just an awesome book, guys. <sighs> Let's hope it's in the nines. What did I give this one? It's the 167. 9294 is what I said. It's alright. Let's do it. Like I said, sometimes it's scary. You're like, you want to know, but... Oh, a 9-4! A 9-4. A 9-4 on it. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. That is so awesome, guys. It's hard to find these books in high grade nowadays. They're starting to get so rare. Oh, man. That's awesome. That's that's awesome. Okay. So I thought this one was a little lower grade. <laughs> um, this one is the, uh, it's the first appearance of Nimrod, guys. It's actually a little little key going on to this one. Um, <laughs> it's it's got to cover a lot of people, a lot of people are not fans of. Um, I, I actually kind of like it, and I'm just such a big X-Men fan that the first appearance of Nimrod and again, you know, I thought this book was was pretty high grade. I had this little bit of dirt here I couldn't get off, kind of going on. But I didn't know maybe, you know, maybe that's like a printer thing. Sometimes you see that on these old books. So I didn't really know, and I was like, maybe. But because of that, I gave it I gave it a 90 to 92. Um we'll see. Like I said, it's kind of like, is that a printer thing, guys? I guess we're going to find out. I, I think it's dirt. Maybe a printer thing. Probably dirt. Let's see what CGC thought. So maybe it's like... Be in the nines. Please be in the nines. Nines? Nine, six? A nine, six. Another book that I pressed and cleaned up from. Yeah, that's awesome. That is, I don't even know how good that makes a per makes you feel. You know what I mean when your work is actually like like appreciated by CGC. Does that make sense? <laughs> like they're giving me good grades on these things. I'm loving this. That's awesome. 
It's such. It is such a beaut. It's such a beautiful old book. All right, guys. That's that's what I have today. Um, yeah, I I I'm gonna say that 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 was another crazy amazing submission, right, guys? Like, how many nine eights did I get in the moderns? Even I I wasn't counting, but I I've. I've, I know some of the bigger books got nine eight, and and then there was a nine a nine eight in in here that I pressed and cleaned of like an old nineties X Men one some not a lot of nine sixes, nine fours. Oh man, I'm I'm there's a couple of losers. I remember like a couple. There's like a six zero and a seven zero, right? But but a lot of winners. I feel like I won a lot. I got a lot of no or not win won, but you know what I mean. Like I feel like. I feel like th that, yeah, I said what I thought the books were, they were. That's, I guess, the best way to put it. Man, I'm just like, okay. I'm, I'm kind of beside myself here on this one. Um, yeah, guys, so re remember, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to enter, enter yourself to win the Silver Cerberus uh, number one, which is over there. You guys have seen it before. Uh, so Silver Cerberus number one. All you have to do is like, comment. It's a store exclusive one too. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe down below. And that'll enter you to win. When we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be raffling the book off. And somebody's going to win it based on comments on the videos on the road to 500. All right, guys. Um, and yeah, if you stuck around this long, I super appreciate it. If you want to help support the channel, um, check me out on IG at Jacob underscore comic so the same as my youtube without the s on the end now i'm selling a mystery box right now we're we're getting close to you know, we're about close to about one third of them sold so almost 10 out of the 30 are sold um i'd really appreciate you guys' support um yep cue the promo check it out guys and hit me up on ig all right guys we'll see you tomorrow and have a great day Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, I'm I'm really happy and excited to share this with the with the community. So what we have here, what are we looking at? It's my first ever mystery box. It's DC and Marvel only, number ones only. So it's all going to be all number one issues, all DC, all Marvel. They're going to be a guaranteed value of sixty dollars on every single mystery box. There are only thirty boxes total. And uh, all I'm asking, guys, is fifty dollars shipped. So fifty dollars shipped, and I'll I'll send. I'll guarantee you'll get sixty dollars in value, in uh in number one Marvel and DC only. And uh, yep, there's also going to be five grand prize winners, and the five grand prize winners or mini prize winners are going to get a hundred dollars in value uh, mystery prize box. So they're, they're going to be uh, five boxes valued at $100. And then there's going to be a grand prize winner, guys. And the grand prize winner is going to win this Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one slab in a 9.8 of the Del Auto Virgin Edition um, Scorpion Comics limited print. And additionally, not only are you going to get the slab, but... You're also going to get a $60 mystery box as well. So you'll get to open up a mystery box full of number one issues just like everybody else. And you'll get this cool slab. So that's the grand prize winner gets the slab and a $60 value mystery box. And then there's going to be five mystery boxes, mini prize winners valued at $100. And then, yep, only 30 boxes total. So I'm really I'm asking for the community's help and support on this one. If you guys could could help me out and uh, help me help me to sell out of the 30 boxes, that'd be super amazing. And and yep, these are some of the books that you'll that you'll see in the mystery box in the number one only Jacob Comics first ever exclusive mystery box. All right, guys, um, and the best way to uh, to find out how to how to purchase them <laughs> is to get a hold of me on Instagram at Jacob underscore comic. So it's the same as my YouTube, but without the S on the end. And again, I really appreciate the community's support and uh, helping me spread the word about this mystery box. I thank you very much in advance. And um, I yep, we'll see you guys tomorrow as always, and have a great day. Okay.